The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod. And all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil. And wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O oh morning, at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with ah, bright wings. Some of you may know this poem by Jesuit Gerard Manley Hopkins. It is a inspiring piece of poetry, especially in this time of year. It's the first week of spring. And just walking outside of the, the front office here at the parish, little flowers are poking up through the soil. Spring is here. And it's at this time of year where we can allow hope to spring forth again. Pope Francis wrote Laudato Si about seven years ago, and throughout it, despite the fear that might come from climate change or the frustrations around its bigness, he still says hope. Because that is the message of our faith. Despite the crucifixion, through the passion, we have the resurrection. We have hope. It is hope that we must lead with. Pope Francis wrote the encyclical with an eye towards evangelization, to going out and spreading the news about life and resurrection. Life beckons us forth to no longer seek the ways of death that cut us off from one another or from the rest of creation. Life beckons us in the flowers blooming, it beckons us in the greening of lawns, and it even beckon, beckons us in this sneeze-inducing pollen that is in the air these days. As spring comes forth, and as new life pops up out of the ground, let us use the lengthening of days to see the life that abounds around us. Let the hope that it brings seep into the soil of our hearts. Let us hope. Let us trust in the resurrection of our God.